Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and today you saw by the title what we will be talking about. I've been wanting to make this video for kind of a long time now but I haven't figured out how exactly I should make this video so I decided just to sit down, look at the camera and talk about it. Starting even at the beginning of high school, people are constantly asking you, where do you want to go to college? What do you want to do? And a lot of times people have no idea and I really didn't know what I wanted to do until maybe around the beginning of senior year. And even that is rare because even by the time I graduated high school, people in my graduating class still had no idea what they wanted to do. So I had decided that I really wanted to go into business. I have always thought that business was interesting. I know a lot of people do not share that opinion, but I always thought that it was very interesting. You, you have the potential to make a lot of money. And I really just thought that it would be really cool if I could understand how businesses worked, how marketing works, how it works to manage a company. And for the most part, I really wanted to be more on the marketing and management side, even though I went to my university as business undeclared. After high school, I ended up going to the University of Delaware for from the very first day that I set foot on campus, I was in love with it. I loved the school. I loved the campus. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It has so much greenery and the buildings are so beautifully designed. And there's also one main street that runs through the center of campus. And it's about like half a mile long and it has shops, restaurants, like drugstores, basically anything you could possibly want as a college student. I didn't have a car on campus and I never needed one. It was the perfect college campus. I absolutely loved going to school there. I loved my friends. The dorms were okay, but what can you expect from a college dorm? I was a business major, my roommate was a psych major. Shout out, hey girl, how are ya? And to be honest, I know it was my first semester freshman year, but it was the easiest major that I could have possibly picked and I was thrilled about that. I love the fact that I barely had any homework. I love that I barely had any studying to do. My entire day and my entire schedule was go to class and just like hang out, which like who wouldn't love that? I was, I loved it. But the entire time that I was at school, I couldn't help but feel like there was something that was a little bit wrong. Something was a little bit off and I just, I could never figure out what it was. I kind of like chalked it up to being like, oh, I'm in a new place. Obviously, it's not going to feel right at first. I just have to like get used to it. And I'm somebody that gets used to things very quickly. I really like change and I can get very well adjusted very easily, but there was always something that felt like a little bit wrong to me. I'm usually very good at figuring out what it is that I need or what's wrong so I can fix it, but I really just had no idea. There was one day about halfway through the semester where I woke up from a dream and I really just can't remember what the dream was about, but I woke up and just had this feeling. And I didn't know where the feeling came from. I didn't know why it was there, but I like literally sat up in my bed and I just had the feeling that I needed to be a nurse. I don't know why. I don't know where that came from. I don't even think I had a dream about being a nurse. I just woke up and I felt it. It was like, like this urge that it was something that I needed to do. So I went on TikTok and I, I think I searched like a nurse day in the life or something like that or nursing school or something like that. And I was scrolling and I was kind of like trying to talk myself out of it. I was like, you know what? You love your life right now. You love being a business student. You love having no homework. You love not studying. You love that when you graduate, you're gonna probably make a lot of money. Like it all seemed great to me, but I could not resist this urge. And mind you, this is all at like eight in the morning on some random Tuesday. But it was just like this gut feeling and I really couldn't ignore it. So what I ended up doing is I texted my aunt who is an ICU nurse and she absolutely loves her job. And she had gone through nursing school recently. So I texted her and I was like, hey, what is it like? Do you like your job? What's it like? And do you know that feeling where after you wake up from a dream and you really just think it's real? That's the kind of feeling that I had. So as the morning kept progressing, I kept talking myself out of it. And I was like, no, you're being weird. Like it was probably some weird dream and you're just like have this obsession now and it's gonna go away. And it did. I think at least like a month went by and I had thought about it like on and off, but it wasn't like that like gut feeling that I had to do it anymore. It was just something that was in the back of my mind. I remember thinking to myself a lot that if my business major didn't work out, I wouldn't have trouble choosing something to do after. Like, oh, I would just, I would know it's nursing. Like, because I always had that thing in the back of my mind. And I started thinking about that a little too much for it to just be something in the back of my mind. And then I started thinking, well, if one of my friends told me that they wanted to change their major to nursing, that I would be jealous. 
And so I was trying to like get to the bottom of that. I was like, okay, why would I be jealous? Because there's clearly something going on beneath the surface that I just haven't like cracked yet. That's actually how I decided to start my YouTube channel. I really wanted to start one, but I kept letting the fear hold me back. I knew that people were going to make fun of me. I knew that it would be a lot of work, and I let that hold me back. But then when I thought about one of my friends maybe starting one, then I would be upset and kind of jealous that I didn't start one first. So that's how I initially decided that I should probably just go for it. All of this is going on before my winter break. The University of Delaware has a gigantic break and I think they have the longest winter break of any school on that side of the country or that area of the country. Obviously, I'm super excited. I'm done with finals. I'm ready to go home. I remember one day I was at home on winter break and I went to go pick up my younger sister from school. I remember this day so well. It was rainy, but it was like the gross kind of rain where it's like only half rain, but mostly just disgusting out. And I remember driving to go pick up my sister and that gut feeling just took over again literally out of nowhere i think i was listening to like a true crime podcast like there was no reason for me to have that gut feeling that i did at that exact moment and for some reason that feeling was so strong that i just decided i was like okay i i need to like at least try to look into this and then my best friend texted me and she was like hey do you want to go to the gym i was like you know what sure so again, while driving to pick her up, driving to the gym, that was literally all I was thinking about. And so I told her, she's my best friend, I tell her everything. And I said, Vanessa, I have this feeling and I cannot shake it and I don't know what to do. And I remember we had such a deep conversation while I was on the leg press machine. And during that conversation, I realized that this is just I need to do it. After the gym, I got back home and I told my parents, I was like, hey guys, I really need to tell you something and I'm not sure how you're gonna react to it, but I wanna become a nurse. And my parents were thrilled. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, they've always told me that, oh, you should go in the medical field. I've always been super into like medical stuff, medical shows. I remember being admitted to the hospital and I wasn't even upset about it because I thought the hospital was so interesting. And all I wanted to do was like play with the equipment and like see how they do IVs and shots. And <laughs> they would make fun of me for enjoying it so much. I remember the second time I got my COVID vaccine, I asked the lady jokingly if I could do it myself and I was only like half joking. And she said that if she wasn't already halfway in my arm, she probably would have let me do it. And I was so upset I really wanted to do it. So my family was thrilled. And so from there, it just became, all right, let's switch my major. I absolutely loved the University of Delaware. I didn't want to leave. I emailed my advisor and I said, hey, surprise. <laughs> And she was like, oh wow, okay, here's the email for the nursing advisor at UD. So I emailed him, we emailed back and forth like 20, 30 times, we even had a Zoom meeting. And basically the gist is, you can't just change your major to nursing. Usually when you're at a university or a college, they'll let you change your major and it's really not that big of a deal, but apparently business to nursing is some crazy big deal. So what he told me is that I would have to apply as a new student, basically. But I would have to wait a year and a half to even apply to be a nursing student there. And their nursing program acceptance rate is like 15%, something like that. It's a very good school and I was a proud student, but I didn't realize that it was that good of a school. I told this to my parents and the three of us decided that the best course of action for me would be to take a leave of absence, which is basically where you're still technically enrolled in the school, but you're not attending any classes. So I took a leave of absence for one semester and I started applying to different universities. And this is one thing they don't tell you about transferring to nursing or something similar, is that most universities or colleges will not allow you to transfer. I called maybe 15 20 and their policy was that you just you can't i don't know why don't ask me look it up but there are so many universities that i tried to apply to and would have loved to go to but they just don't allow transfers so for the past few months my journey has been trying to hunt down a university that would allow me to even apply as a transfer try to apply before a deadline and then maybe i would get in I'm not going to tell you the universities by name right now, but once I decide on one, there's a chance I'll tell you where I'm going. So far, I've applied to four schools. I've gotten into two of them already. I've already been accepted. But the second two, I'm going to have to 
weight. So what I mean by that is the way their admissions process works is for the nursing program. First, they look at incoming students from high school. They give whoever they want a seat. Then they look at their waitlist people. They give whoever they want a seat. Then they look at their internal transfers, which is people who are transferring majors, but from within the school, then they give them a seat, then they'll even begin to consider my application. I applied to these schools in February and I will not find out if I'm even accepted until June. So it is definitely a process, but I don't regret my decision at all. I know that I've had these gut feelings. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, but it just really sucks in the process of trying to find another school. And if you have felt something similar to what I have felt with the gut feelings and the fact that you would be jealous if somebody else started to do it before you, then maybe that's a sign for you to start something new too. All right, I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you next video. Bye.